Hi, this is Nicole Hetty from Paper Tray Ink, and today I'm going to show you how to create a floating image on the front of your card by using clear cardstock sandwiched between two die cut pieces. The first thing we're going to do is um, make the die cuts, and it's pretty easy, but I just thought I would show you step by step how I do it. And everybody may have a slightly different method, but this is how I do mine when I want to layer them like this. I'm starting with a piece of vintage cream cardstock that measures four inches by five and a quarter inches. And I have the scalloped, uh, the large scallop die from the Limitless Layers two and a half inch circle die collection. And I'm just going to put a little bit of adhesive right in the middle of it like this. And I'm going to position this on the paper and try to get it fairly center. It doesn't need to be exact. Just kind of press it in the middle there where I had the adhesive. And now I'm just going to go and run this through my die cutting machine. So now I've die cut this and I have a nice scallop circle right in the middle of my vintage cream layer. And here I have an Ocean Tides A2 card base with the fold right here on the side. And I'm going to position this cream layer where I'm going to want it on the card. And I put up a little adhesive in the center of the standard circle die from the 2.5 inch Limitless Layers die collection. And I'm going to position this right in the middle of the scalloped opening I created with the vintage cream. Press this in the middle. I'm going to go ahead and remove this. I'm going to open this up like this and run it through my die cutting machine. When I remove the pop the die out here. Now I have a standard circle opening in the middle of my card base. Now I've got this die cutting done, I'm actually going to do some stamping. And I'm going to start with um, a block of vintage cream cardstock. Um, and this measures three and three quarters by five inches. And I'm actually going to add um, my sentiment to this. And I'm using a sentiment from Over Under Easy. This block of cardstock is going to go on the inside, and I add some of the decorative elements from the cover to the inside. So I'm going to go ahead and get them both ready at the same time. It just makes things a little bit easier. So the sentiment comes first. And I'm inking this with Scarlet Jewel ink. And I'm going to go ahead and stamp that right in the middle of the vintage cream block. like that. And next I'm going to get a little vine image from Harvest Berries. I'm going to ink this with ripe avocado. I'm going to add one little piece of this down here. And I'm going to add another piece more towards this corner just like that. The next piece I'm going to use, I'm going to go ahead and pull out the larger solid vine from again Harvest Berries using ripe avocado again and this time I'm working with the um, vintage cream block that we created for the front cover. And I'm going to add this to one corner. And I'm going to add this in the other corner. So 
I've kind of got the vine pattern going across to the diagonal. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get a large flower from Flower Fusion number four. And I'm going to use that with Raspberry Fizz ink. And I'm going to add a few. around this vine here and the front cover elements and I'm going to add some to the other corner down here grab inside element. It's so easy to add some of the same accents to the inside when you already have the stamps and the ink out. Like that. So the next thing I'm going to pull out now is a smaller flower. I'm going to use this from with um, Aqua Mist. I'm just going to add a few. I'm there like that. And I'm going to switch to the inside again. Now I'm going to add some small accents to the centers of the flowers using um, the various berries from Harvest Berries. I've got a little trio, berry trio here, and I'm going to use Scarlet Jewel ink. And I'm just going to add this little cluster to the centers of the Raspberry Fizz flowers. Do the same thing to the inside. And now I'm going to swap the trio out for a larger single dot. And I'm going to get Ocean Tides ink and add a dot to the center. Of the aquamist flowers on both pieces. So there's both of my finished blocks. Now I'm ready to get to um, basic card assembly. I'm going to work with the back of this front vintage cream block that I have all stamped and ready to go. And I've got a block of clear cardstock right here. And then I cut cut it to about three and a half inches square. And I'm gonna layer it right on the back of the scallop section like this. And just on top of the clear cardstock in the corners, I'm going to add a little bit of adhesive to help keep everything together a bit better. Now I'm going to take my Ocean's Tides layer 
and I am going to adhere this right in place, kind of using the circle I cut out of the cover as a guide to place the scallop circle around it. And next, I'm going to go ahead and adhere the interior. Just like this. So you can see, you can see the sentiment through the center opening. Now, as a finishing touch, we're going to create a butterfly accent to go on top of this. I've used um, one of the dies from the Beautiful Butterflies die collection to die cut a large butterfly from Aqua Mist cardstock. And I used our single butterfly die to create a smaller butterfly from Hibiscus Burst uh, cardstock. I'm going to add a little bit of pattern to these. I'm going to use a block from Bitty Background Blocks. And I'm going to use Ocean Tides ink with this. I'm going to ink it out. Now because I know I'm going to be layering the smaller butterfly on top of the larger butterfly, I'm not going to worry too much about these patterns meeting up in the middle. So there's that stamped butterfly. And then next, I'm going to take one of the smaller stamps from a little argyle with raspberry fizz ink. And I'm going to stamp this hibiscus burst butterfly with that pattern. Just like that. I'm going to use an uh, eighth inch score tape in a single line on the back of both of these butterflies. Just like that. I'm going to fold them slightly in half and kind of curl the petals, just curl the wings rather, just a little bit. And I'm going to go ahead and adhere this at a slight angle in the window opening of my card. Kind of do the same thing with the pink one. Layer that right in the middle. I've got a scarlet jewel button right here that I've threaded with twine and I've got score tape on the back of it. I'm going to hear this to the middle of the butterfly. Trim the little antenna. And as you can see, this is my completed card. Because of that clear card stock, it appears that the butterfly is floating right in the middle of the card. And I love the way that the sentiment kind of peeks through to give the recipient um, a little peek at what this inside is going to hold for them. I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial, and we hope to see your take on these floating images.